Welcome to another NRL video. I'm Glenn Schwartzberg and I'll be your host today for I Didn't Know I Could Do That in S-Base Load Rules, specifically Dynamic Dimension Builds. Let's talk about a problem that I found recently on the Oracle Technical Network, and that was that they needed to build a dimension based on the value of substitution variables, and they needed to do it in an automated fashion. The real request was that they wanted to have their time dimension being built dynamically based on current months, prior months, and prior month two, and they wanted to get rid of all of the other months that were not in the substitution variables. So when trying to figure out this problem, there were a couple of things that I thought about. So information that we know is SQL statements can utilize substitution variables, and it can utilize substitution variables either in the select statement or in a WHERE clause. And for the solution to work, I actually needed to have an ODBC connection available on my SBase server with an ID and password, and it really even didn't have to have access to tables. So how did we accomplish this? Well, what we did is we created a SQL statement in the load rule, and I gave two different syntaxes, one for SQL Server and one for Oracle, where we just use periods as the parent, because that's the name of the dimension, and then cur month is child, and then I did a union and selected the prior month as the child. And the difference between the two is that in SQL Server, I didn't need to have a from clause, in Oracle I did. So when I was putting together this sample, I ran into a couple of things that I made it better. So if we look at the SQL statement now, what we see is year as parent, zero year, x as a property, uh, cur month as a substitution variable, and then one as the month number, and union that with the, the next month and the next month two, and did an order by. So a couple of things about this. First of all, you'll notice that I put all of this into the select statement. You don't need to use the from or the where when you're using the SQL interface. In addition, you'll notice that the very first word select is missing because SBase automatically puts that in for you. So I find it much easier to do everything as the select statement because I can put the whole statement in there. Now you'll also notice a few differences in the SQL itself from my prior example. And the first thing is, is I decided that I wanted to have this as a dynamic member for years, so I put the property of X in there. And then finally, I put in the 1 and the 2 and the 3 because in my example, SQL Server was being very helpful to me. And it didn't matter what order I put the substitution variables in, for some reason SQL Server was always sorting them for me. So by putting in this sort criteria, I was able to get it to order by the way I wanted it to, and you'll notice in the load rule I just ignore field 4. So you can see on the right hand side how I have the year with its dynamic property and the child, and in the load rule I went into the dimension building properties and set this as, as a parent-child build, and then also set it to remove unspecified members. So this would build my dimension very easily, and then I could do something very similar in a SQL statement to just load those particular months, because I could use the substitution variables in my WHERE clause.